Hi. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the Gemini North Node. So nodes, we have the South and North Node. These are nodes of the moon. And today, May 5th, the node, the North Node will be shifting into Gemini. And this is for us all. You don't need to be a Gemini. This is a collective message for everyone. And that's what I've decided actually for the month of May is to do planetary transits because we have powerful transits happening in the month of May. And we're going to have the Venus retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, Pluto already went retrograde towards the end of April. So there's been some very deep shifts. And with these shifts, you can experience headaches, you can feel nauseous, your tummy can feel uncomfortable, it, and vivid dreams. Vivid dreams. So this is an intense time for all of us because it's all these retrogrades and shifts that are happening is like kind of taking us in a new journey and direction. And especially with the North Node in Gemini, which is going to basically last uh, from now, 5th of May 2020 to January 2022. And that's an important time for us all because it affects every single one of us. Doesn't matter if you're a Scorpio, a Leo, this is collective energy. So we recently had the nodes in Capricorn and Cancer. So the South Node was in Capricorn, the North Node was in Cancer, and that started last year, right? In 2019. That's when we had these kinds of shifts that were occurring. And during that time, it took us back home. So the South Node is basically what we would call our karma. It's our past energy. It's our lesson. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's kind of what we feel like we need to be doing, but we're not really getting there. And it's kind of like... So it's difficult, it's challenging, it's your challenge. And the answer is the North Node. The solution is the North Node. So Capricorn, what is Capricorn? 10th house energy, it's hardworking, dedicated organization, structure, governments, everything to do with structure, organization, putting things together, hardworking, career focused, um, recognition. So before this, the shift, right, when it was in... Um, Capricorn, the South Node, it would have been all about getting things together, working, putting things into perspective, right? And working on your finance, your career, where you need to be, what you want to do, very fast, right? Because that's Capricorn energy. What's your money saying to you? Where you want, what you want, where you want to be. <laughs> that's everything to do with Capricorn. Very, very, and even if there's issues or anything, it's like, let's not focus on that. Let's get back to where we need to be, what we need to do, and work, work, work. That's Capricorn energy. And that was the South Node, the challenge, the, 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 the actual lesson, the actual, what we would find our karma. And this is a collective lesson for us all. Then the North Node was in Cancer, right? Even in the beginning of this year, that's when we had our Cancer eclipse. And there will also be some eclipses happening in, those, in that energy. But in any event, not know it was in cancer and that would be the solution the destiny um yeah so think of it south node karma not no destiny you hear this is where you're gonna go this is where you feel like what you need to do but this is actually what you need to get back to so cancer what is cancer cancer is the heart it's the home it's the mother energy it takes you back home so having the nodes basically in Capricorn, we were working very, very busy. Everybody's busy doing all their things. And it takes you right back home. So think of what the world is facing with the global pandemic. It brings you back, back home, right? Everyone's home and everyone is not thinking about what were they working on? What money do they have? Because that's that cancer energy saying, okay, we're home. We need to actually take care of ourselves. We need to take care of our loved ones. We need to make sure everyone's all right. All of that kind of energy, you know, trying to really figure it out. And being at home, you know, cooking, 
all of that. That's that cancer energy, creative energy. What can we do? What thoughts do we have? How can we put, how do we feel? How is everyone feeling? Checking up on everyone. That's that cancer energy. And the nodes have been going like that. So when we have these nodes, right, south node, north node, we have eclipses, right, in those zodiacs, basically, with the full moons. And, and that's what will happen. And also solar eclipses. Because it's all this energy that's being channeled through us to go through these experiences. Each and every single one of us, doesn't matter if you're a Capricorn, you're a Cancer, you just feel those. If that's your zodiac or you have those strong placements within your birth chart, you would feel it more intensely. Like, whoa, <laughs> this is quite, you know, something, really, I'm really feeling this. Everyone else would just be going along and then it happens to us all at once collectively. And that's the energy. And now, the North Node is shifting into Gemini. And what's the opposite of Gemini? Sagittarius. So the South Node will be in Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius, as we all know, now think the South Karma Challenge, the lesson, the destiny, the answer, the solution will be in Gemini. <laughs> so if you think Sagittarius, Sagittarius is your long distance travel. It's ruled by Jupiter. If you think of the imagery, person in, like a half human person, like with a horse, and they basically got a bow and arrow, and it's freedom. <laughs> That's what it is. It's moving fast. It's, it's freedom. It's, it's fire. It's like long distance travel, expansion, Jupiter, opportunity. That's what it offers. It offers to expand on everything. Your awareness. That's why even with the Sagittarius energy, you get that motivation, that preacher kind of energy. You know, just information and knowing things and all of this beautiful energy. Now, this is the challenge. So this is where we're going to feel challenged. This is where we're going to feel, I know there's an answer to all of this, but what is it? Right? Because it's in the South Node. And the North Node being a Gemini, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is information. That's what it is. It's information, communication. And Gemini is a jewel sign. It's housed by the twins. That's the imagery of the twins. And it's all about basically seeing the duality in everything. Seeing the good and the bad. And also seeing the good and the bad within yourself. <laughs> right? You know, you and it's also with this time where we actually have to challenge our beliefs because Sagittarius houses our beliefs. Remember, it's a preacher energy in the sense that it's motivational. It gets you going. It's where you have awareness, expansion, ex ascension, all of that kind of energy in Sagittarius. And Gemini is the messenger. Information, fact, um, basically putting things together, figuring it out. Gemini is short trips. You know, that's what Gemini is. If you think of Geminis, they might know a lot of people, but they have people close to them. And they know within themselves that they have feelings that keep changing. You know, it's like they're able to see things differently with objection, like the objective. They, they see things differently. And that's why lots of people have conflict with Geminis because Geminis kind of think outside of the box. So they won't think in a set way. They just won't. It's, it's kind of like they'll make you think differently. Look at both sides, two sides to a coin. Don't just look at it from this perspective. That's why Gemini can have to express themselves because they're all about communication and talk things out. So as they're talking, you'll notice they're saying one thing and the next thing is because they're trying to figure it out. And the only way to figure it out is to communicate and to look at both sides and to weigh it up. And, all, and you know, how do I feel about this? How do I feel about that? So what will we experience with this transit? Well, one, the difficult part about it is because of this, if we look back, right, to about 2001 to 2004, it coincided with 9-11, right? 9-11 was a big event and that affected travel. There was lots of rules and regulations put into place. That was also around the same time that SARS which is now linked to the coronavirus, all of that came about back then, right? So those were things that were happening when the node, the Gemini North Node shifted. And a lot of people felt in their time with everything happening, different about travel. 
a lot of fear and anxiety, stress, you know, you know, thinking of things differently, not like how they used to. And that's what the Gemini North Node actually pushes us to do. So the one of the things that we will be feeling challenged with is our sense of freedom because Sagittarius is the freedom. It's going long trips and long travels. That's Sagittarius. And Gemini is more your small trips. And with that energy, you can feel less free. That's just one thing. So you will feel kind of like... Uh, and especially without the expansion and the awareness of issues, like you can't expand on it. You, you feel like you have the answers, but you just can't reach it because at the moment, we just have to see the facts and see the duality of it all. That's it. It's just seeing the duality within everything, within yourself. The more you get tied to a belief, the more conflict you will find yourself in with others. <laughs> you have to let go of the belief because Sagittarius is the belief. doesn't mean lose all your morals <laughs> or whatever you value, but those are things that basically will be questioned. And you'll have to go through that shift. A lot of people will find this time very stressful. A lot of anxiety, a lot of fearful thinking, a lot of suicides, um, a lot of people losing their sense of motivation, because Sagittarius is that, whereas Gemini is more about the duality within you. There's light and dark within you. You have the side that is motivated, yet you have the side of you that's doubtful and, you know, questions things. Because everything you do, you're going to want to question it. You want to question it, relook at it, redo it, understand it. Why? Because it's almost like the awareness of it isn't really there and you've got to do that because... Whenever we suppress a doubt, a fear, a sadness, anger, that suppression just leads to an explosion of emotion. And, and that's what the Gemini energy brings. It's because you haven't acknowledged those parts of yourself that needs nurturing. Even the darkest parts of yourself. Remember, it's the twins. So it's living within the duality within you and within your outside world, embracing both parts, light and dark, seeing everything and walking through it without fear. It's beautiful. You know, <laughs> and that's the thing. And I think that's what gives Gemini the energy to maintain its sense of, you know, wonder and childlike qualities. And they're so humorous. The reason being is because they look at things so differently. They, they can see things with an open perspective, childlike. Because when we brought down to the simple things, we got to see it from a different perspective. Haven't you noticed how kids are so open to the simplest of things? And that's what it's about. It's about being enjoying and being grateful for the smallest of things and seeing the freedoms that you do have within your mind. Because remember, Mercury is our thought process and communication and information. So still being free within your mind. And that's the important thing. Because a lot of things now will feel like our mind and what we believe and what we used to know will be challenged. Yet Gemini is saying, you know, yes, it's a new way. But let's see how comfortable you can get and what blessings it has to offer you at looking at things from a humorous childlike innocence and it can be difficult because when the expansion when the opportunity jupiter's in the south node of karma and challenge and now you're in this time of gemini and takes you through a moment of actually seeing the darkness but also being able to switch on the light. And that's the beauty of Gemini. That's the beauty. And we're all going to go through this. This trance will last till you know, January 2022. Gemini North Node. So it has something to offer you. It has the information. It has the duality. It has the energy to make you rethink things. Allow for that energy. Thank you for watching.